Also, if we got like two by fours, there's a plywood and it's some like really cheap wooding, four wooding. Why do we need to do that though? It'd probably cost like. Is that 1500, 10,000 or 15,000? 500 bucks. But why would we need to, we have wood on the wall. Why would we need to put wood up? <laughs> the, wood, the wood's, the wood's warping. <laughs> All right, let's get into this, man. I'm tired of talking I mean, about this it. is quality flooring right here. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Cigar Guys. Today, we are going to be discussing some FAQs uh, that we get a lot, each of us, different occasions, of about The Cigar Guys and Basic Cigar and just our personal lives, just everything. Um, and? And? Frequently asked questions about cigars in, in general. general. Yeah, I was getting there. Didn't sound like it. Continue. He did say FAQ earlier, so... He said what? FAQ. I, I don't think I've ever. Heard. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have never said those words. So. Hurry up, Doc. Yeah. Uh, questions about cigars, how to smoke them, what different practices there are. Uh, we're going to be talking about everything over here. Um, yeah. Let's Way to make it sound boring. Let's get into it. Roll the intro. <laughs> <laughs> We're back from the intro. Oh. <laughs> no, I have to remember that you said that. Okay, we, we got we got to do the uh, the millennial pause. You know, just like oh yeah, just oh, like, that. like that one second stare. Thank you guys for tuning. <laughs> it was on me. I know but you weren't talking. I was throw the okay. So oh, perfect. Yeah, in case you don't know us. We'll get these questions out of the way. Who are the cigar guys? Obviously, we are professional cigar smokers. We are the cigar smokers, I would say. Uh, we smoke cigars. We talk about cigars. And sometimes we're funny. Sometimes we talk about other stuff, too. We release episodes once a week here on YouTube, Spotify, all audio platforms. Um, that's where you can find us. We also have social Wait, was media. Was that a question? Was that an FAQ? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah but he like answered him. He like asked yeah. himself a question. It's it's, it's basically no, it's no. <laughs> I don't have to follow <laughs> it to the letter, <laughs> unless you're. How how often are new episodes released? Once a week. <laughs> Next, uh, where can I listen to the Cigar Guys podcast? On YouTube, Spotify, and all podcast platforms. We're flying through it everywhere. Okay. Next, uh, how can I suggest a topic? Or guests for an upcoming episode. You don't. Next. How can all right, all right, <laughs> let's slow down. We have to have like a whole hour. I thought we were. This like, isn't a TikTok. I thought video. this was like a speed run. I thought we were speed we running the speed cigar. Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Write oh, that yeah. down. Write that down. Cigar guys speed run. We should do that next time <sighs> on the Cigar Guys podcast. We're also on social media. The cigarguys.com slash socials. You can find everything there. Instagram. It's all at the cigar guys too. So that's easy to remember. Um, let's see here. Zach, you asked a question. Is there a way to suggest topics that we can discuss? There's plenty of ways to do that, such as. Such as you can leave a comment below on any one of our videos. We'll see it on TikTok. We'll see it. Um, we're pretty addicted to all of these social media platforms. So uh, Instagram, shoot us a message. If you have any, you know, anything you want to say about the episode, you can shoot us a message. Uh, and we, I mean, we get back to everyone. So even if it's, uh, we're, we're on that, uh, that no question is a dumb question, except for stupid questions. That's a uh, sort of thing. Yeah. That's a vibe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, and feel free to DM our personal accounts too. Sometimes 
Some yep. of us answer faster on those. But can we yeah. just pause for a second? What an embarrassing moment for Alex. Yeah, that was pretty. What, what are you talking about? Pan on himself trying to light a cigar with what some you, What are you talking about? And massively failed. What are you talking about? <laughs> I cut that out. Um, but yeah, you can get in contact with us uh, by any means and we'll we'll respond. Uh, if you message our personal accounts, um, our, our hours of operation, mine are uh, 6 a.m. to... Uh, <laughs> 6 a.m.? But, is this uh, Eastern time or Central time? Uh, or Eastern time. Mountain time. Eastern time, 6 a.m. to about midnight. Uh, oh Jared's, my God. Jared's hours are about 24 uh, 6 p.m. to like 6 a.m. M- mine uh, are um, 5 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. So you got you to get that in quick. <laughs> That's when Mark's taking his first shit for the day. <laughs> Don't message me on my personal account. Actually, honestly, though, we do get messages quite a lot, and sometimes we don't respond. But there is a way to guarantee that we do respond, which I did today. You can reach out to us on, on Manect. You can reach out to us on Manect. I will probably be answering. Zach will not be answering, so you don't have to worry about that. I don't have the login information. I would answer. That's a lie. Does he have login information? Oh, it's probably on. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if it's, it's on that secret, super secret. It's on supersecret.com. It's on Google Docs slash the cigar guy's password slash. That's actually a thing. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a public link. <laughs> um, so you can send us a message and we can respond to you via, via text, video, or we can have a video chat. Uh, we just talked to a guy today about helping him start a new YouTube channel slash business. So we did that. That's how you can guarantee you message us. It's not expensive. We have like the cheapest options possible. Um, we yeah, don't do, do it. That. We don't. We don't do it for the money. We do it for you guys. Yeah, it would be free, but it's not an option to be free. So that's actually true. Yeah, that's kind of a weird setup. However, uh, we do need a new cigar studio, uh, so we're going to put a GoFundMe in the link below. Uh, <laughs> that seems to be a common theme now, so we should do that too. We should. I'm down. <laughs> we got it. We got to take away our social media first. <laughs> Yeah, let's go completely dark. <laughs> I lost my job, so I think now's a perfect time. Um, another common question that we get is, what are you guys smoking on the podcast? This actually is a question that we get a lot because apparently um, we should put it in the description um, because saying it in the beginning doesn't count. Are, are we allowed to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that or you can just, you know, zoom in on the video, you know. I'd be kind of, I mean, I don't think. I'm smoking so, the latest uh, edition from AJ Fernandez, the Dios de Gloria, Brazil. Very good cigar. You liked it, Lizzo? It, it was um close. It was lighter than I thought it was going to be. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not strong. It's definitely like full body though, in terms of. I too flavor. am smoking the latest edition of a brand. Really? What brand is that? It's a Maduro from uh, the tried and true Besa. No. Oh. Please zoom in. You can see the label perfectly. <laughs> Announced. That is also what I am smoking. Very good. Uh, same. Very good. Yeah, I, I do kind of like that. See, suggestions we learn from everything. Put the cigars we smoke in the comments. Yes. Yeah, you you want to do that? I guess we could. It's not hard. It's- it's not hard for <laughs> <laughs> He's right, but not right. He rubs it in my face that he doesn't do jack shit. <laughs> I got my guy on it. Hey, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that threw me off. Order, order in the court. Also, go check out the newest podcast called The Cigar Guy <laughs> featuring me, Alexander Gonzalez. You're going to get mass reported. <laughs> Why is there... Shit in my... What is this, Mark? What did you do? I just poured. Why are you s- sabotaging? Are you drinking? Is there a cork in there? I was thinking about it. Okay, well, yeah, go, go clean this out. Is that a bug or a cork? Maybe a please? I don't even know, dude. It looks like fuzz or something. It's probably an ash. That, that, look, that looks like now, an ash. Is it? That's a, that's a bug. That's a bug. I see the that, wings. That's, that's a fly. It actually looks like a fly, fly. yeah. It does. All right, guys. Mark tried to sabotage me with a fly. I didn't see that in there. usually does. It probably fell in there and got drunk. Passed out. Probably did. Give him a few hours. He'll wake up. 
<laughs> Put him in the freezer and like tie a string to him. <laughs> All right. All right. So another question we get asked is, do we host any events or meetups? Um, I wouldn't really call them meetups, but we do, we do host events and we do post about them, uh, usually locally here in, uh, central Florida, but we also have had an event in Michigan. So look out for those areas. I, I think it's safe to say meet up. I mean, I go there to meet people and meet up with I mean, others. We do the car meets too. Yeah. I, car just, feel meets. Like, I just feel like meetups sound a little, I don't know. <laughs> it's also lame. Cutting lights. Like, Hey guys, come out to our meetups. <laughs> yeah, we meet people up at the cutting light, that. you know. Huh? I, I agree with you, Mark. That's so why he, he likes it. He I mean, that's it. why that's why car uh, car people changed it from meetups to like cars and coffee and cars and cigars, you know. Yeah, but it's still a meetup, you know. Like we still know. It's a hangout. Can you pour me? A- okay, thank you. It is um, a hangout. It's a real live hangout. Mark skipped like two questions, so we'll go back. Oh, and, did I? Yeah. So when's our next cigar meetup? Uh, I would call it a cigar event. Actually, the next one that I know of it's pretty soon actually is an, is a private members event. So, um, but it's going to be at the drawing room in Orlando, Florida. Doctor Phillips, Sand Lake area. Um, we're going to be there with Z from Cordobo Morales. I think. I think. I don't know if he's confirmed yet, but that's what we're doing. And then, yeah, go to our social media at the Cigar Guys, and um, you can be notified when we do new events, which have been quite a lot this year. We've done quite a lot, and the year is still young; it's not over yet. It's only six months old. Mm-hmm. Another question we get asked quite frequently. I'm gonna point it st- uh, to you, Alex. I my cigar over there. How what? can I join the Cigar Guys community? There's a few different ways you can do that. We do have a website. You can sign up for a newsletter. Uh, we have blog articles that come out quite a bit. Social media is another way that you can join us, communicate with us, engage with us. Um, come to our meetups. I'm sorry, our events. Have we ever discussed the minimum or pre-qualifications for becoming a Cigar Guy? Or you, honorary cigar guy? Sorry, I just want to be on this side. <laughs> you have to, uh, number one, smoke cigars, or at least be willing to learn. That makes sense. The, the requirements are not high. That's it. That's it. Only requirement. Um, our lower tier members usually smoke like flavored cigars, like acids and stuff. And then once you graduate from that, like you're, you know, you go up in the ranks. But we're all a part of the same family. But people who smoke acids have to pay to join, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. No. Legally, no. But yes. Hmm. I think I don't think it's a legal issue. Oh, okay, cool. Whew. Yes. Oh, man. What else? Um, How can I tell if a cigar is fresh? See, I think I think that's an interesting question. That is interesting. And do you concur? Sometimes, you know, the freshness of the cigar has a lot to do with when they rolled it, um, when it got to the truck. I think the question. And then when, I think the question I'm is asking. It, I'm no, answering you're it not, like the vice president. I think the question. <laughs> I okay. should continue then. Okay. So, anyways, so in total of freshness, the, the the way to tell about a freshness of a cigar is like how fresh it is. Is it how fresh it is? Yeah. So not. I think that's a inflation? completely stupid answer. My opponent has no idea what she's talking about. I think that the question should be well, it, whether or not. Excuse me. Whether or not cigars increase testosterone. Sir, it's been sixty seconds, smoked, sir. Sir, three. Sir. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I smoke three cigars an hour. My testosterone is the highest. It's ever if you been. look at the passage of my mics, they're trying to censor me. <laughs> this is classic fake news media. Okay, but if you no, look at- no, no, excuse me, excuse me, turn the mics back on. Excuse me. He's doing this. Excuse because me. He's sexist. I'm a woman, and he- <laughs> only Rosie O'Donnell. But if you look at the passage of time, we're gonna clip that so this- hard, <laughs> so hard. Because I'm a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, it's gonna be great. It's gonna go viral. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but I, I do think, in all seriousness, like is. 
fresh as in like is it well humidified like is it not think, dried out well, so, is it not? So, so so what i was thinking was this could be a newcomer's question and it's like oh how do i pick the freshest cigar like mm. they don't know that you don't want it fresh because a okay. newly made cigar yeah, oh, yeah, that makes sense yeah like yeah. fresh off the so normally yeah. normally when i'm in public and people ask me this question i i, I tell them look at the, the expiry label on the box, <laughs> if not the individual cigar, that's not the most accurate mm. way you can tell. Because if you're colorblind, <laughs> Best you may not by. be able to tell you know tell how much plume is on there, or good mold, or if it's green <laughs> or brown. <laughs> it's not so serious. <clears throat> I don't think the freshness. Is, I mean, okay, so I, I think in terms of like uh, humidity, you can talk about a feel. What is it supposed to feel like? Yeah. I would just say... That was a question. You know, just like yeah. canned foods. <laughs> I would really just tell people like canned foods never go bad. So, they're like just like cigars. I mean, cigars, if they're kept in the right conditions, they don't go bad. But over tens, like tens of years, like 10, 20 years from now, they might not have much flavor, but they won't be bad. But essentially, uh, cigars should have a little bit of give like when you squeeze them. If you squeeze it and it's hard or it cracks, it's dried out. Yeah. Um, if it's really squishy, that's probably overhumidified, and that's when the mold comes in. So obviously, if there's mold on it or plume, as they call it, I wouldn't smoke it. Well, usually I pull out my knife and I cut it out, kind of like cheese, <laughs> and then you can actually be safe enough to light that cigar. I mean, you could. And plus, the plus when you, you know use your lighter on it, it kills the bad mold anyways. <laughs> Does it leave the good mold? <laughs> yeah, I think so. What, what is the difference between bad mold and good mold? Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. Okay, go, go uh, I'll give you an example: blue cheese, good mold, and an old Whopper from Burger King. Excuse me. Um, that that is good though because they don't use preservatives. Exactly, and it molds. That's bad mold. That's true. Bad mold is like bad mold, mold but good sign. Yeah, mold on. But on all seriousness, if you see like mold on the foot, you know that's a no go for smoking. If it's on the wrapper, like a little bit, you could just wipe it off. Um, I people, still suggest. I don't know. I wouldn't smoke it. I wouldn't personally. Some people say that if it's blue or green mold, it's definitely a no go. If it's white mold, it's okay. That's what people say. You still have to wipe it off though. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have a knife on you, you can just take it to the bathroom, put some soap on there, and wash it off. <laughs> can we I, get this guy out of here? We do this all the time with our hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'm glad you do wash your hands. Yeah, like when my car gets thirsty, it <laughs> drinks gas. So I just drink gas when I'm thirsty. <laughs> all right. Next couple of questions, we kind of speed run through a little bit, I guess, because is it okay to relight a cigar? Yes. Jared just well, did. You just saw me. Yes, it is okay to relight the cigar, but we can expand on this question. We don't have to speed run all the time. We I do guess. have time. Mark. Is it okay to relight a cigar? Yes. Next. Is it okay the next day? You can. Won't taste good. Yeah, the ash, yeah. To be so, honest with you, I wouldn't relight a cigar over an hour. That's my limit. Like, if, if I smoke a cigar halfway and I'm like, I'm going to smoke this later, if I don't relight that cigar within an hour, then I won't continue to smoke it. I agree. Yeah, I could agree with that. Like, if you move from one cigar lounge to another, that's a good amount of time. Yeah, but if the cigar lounge is like five minutes away, that's under the 60 minute mark of that hour. Correct. Correct. So, in you theory, can math. you can, yes, that too. And you can light the cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So, let me ask this if it's like 59 minutes, 59 seconds. You would not. I would not. You're just like, nah. That's no, under an hour, though. No, because by the time I finish relighting it, it will uh, be over that mark. Yeah, so, yeah. you don't go it's based terrible. on when you start to light it. You go based on- I go based on when I take that first puff. Now, follow question. Okay. Would you then you relight the cigar after that? Every day. Would I relight the cigar after that? So, let's that? say you go to the first third. Yeah. And then you wait you know, 30 minutes and relight it. Then you get through the second third. <clears throat> Would you- like relight it after that no it's one time only one okay. time one time use so you're like a one time max guy yeah to be honest with you, I, I don't even smoke the same cigar twice i take one puff and then i go light another cigar 
I gotta admit, that's I I appreciate that actually. <laughs> I, I like I really do. Never drive a used car because another man has sat in that car. <laughs> always buy a new car. Yeah, and think <laughs> about it. Like, after oh, after you try a cigar, a man's used that cigar. That is true. <sighs> so you gotta get another one. This, this, is, this is why Zach always pulls up in a brand new car. <laughs> Facts. Um. One good Facts, question no that we cigar. get that's not yes, on this cigars. list is what happens if you smoke too fast? Mm. And what happens is the ash will form almost like a dagger. Jared, if you could put up your cigar. <laughs> so the outside will burn faster than the inside. Why is that? <laughs> that's a good question. It has, to with, it has to do with thermodynamics. <laughs> really? It does. Explain it. Because the outside gets more oxygen to help it burn mm. than the inside would. Now we know. It's a good way to put it. Yeah, like if you smoke a cigar in a 100% oxygen area, <laughs> you blow up. It will, I mean, basically, it will like <laughs> literally like catch fire. So it wouldn't blow up. It would just be consumed in flames. You there's, would, you there's, would there's, a video, there's a video of a guy uh, who tested that with a cigarette. And it he, wouldn't explode, Mark. But it like shoots flames, basically. Would it shoot flames into your? <laughs> Would you inhale the flames? Maybe. No, I, th- I think it puff shoots the it. flames. Well, oh, in that in that video, oh, man, I forgot his name. He's a guy from Florida, super cool dude. Um, uh, man, is it you? Did you do this? No, it's Florida man. He's oh, okay. he's who I aspire to be. He just like builds crazy shit in his garage. That's crazy. That's a crazy statement because Zach rarely aspires to be anyone. Besides himself. So this guy must be like pretty darn cool. Oh man. You know what? I'm going to find his name. He's a YouTuber. All right. Continue while I find this. Also, if you smoke too fast, you run the risk of getting nicotine sickness. So you get nauseous, you might get a headache, you might throw up, especially if you're newer to cigars. So it's best to take your time, puff like every 45 seconds or so. Um, then you, the more you do it, the more you get into that rhythm and then it becomes like second nature. Unless you're like Jared, you just puff every 10 seconds. If you're Mark, you puff every 10 seconds and then you puff every two minutes. And then he gets upset with himself because he can't get a long white ash like mine. Hmm. These are true I never, I never get upset. Um, how should I hold a cigar? Um, I mean, there's many different ways. Just, I think personally, this answer really just lies on whatever feels comfortable with you. I'm pretty sure there's only two ways. Like, I hold it with my two fingers. This is the over under. <laughs> this is the over over. Wow. The that's backyard a, a scientist. Point. The backyard oh, scientist. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah, I love this dude. He's cool. Is that your backyard, Zach? Uh, Aloha. Maybe he's in Hawaii. Hmm. Feel bad for him. Oh, uh, hopefully he watches the cigar. How does guys. he get away with any of this stuff? Hawaii is like one vote shy of communism. I'm pretty sure he lives in Florida, but he's maybe he's from Hawaii because it says Aloha. Could be Hawaiian. What's up those travel videos I see you guys sometimes where it's like says so like Sarasota, Florida. And there's like mountains and like <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. all. laughs> best places to visit in Florida. <laughs> and it's like sweet. <laughs> <laughs> or good. that, yeah. But yeah, the backyard scientists, if you listen to the cigar guys, let us know. We'll collab. We'll send you some cigars. We'll do. I, I, I will send you personal cigars to my collection. He could help us build a shed. And then we could <laughs> get the oxygen to 100% and light a cigar. Facts. Well, oh, dude, that'd be cool. We do a collab and do some like scientist shit. Based know? on cigars. What is the optimal environment to smoke a cigar in? Oh, that's cool. How can you get your cigar to smoke slower so you get twice the amount of smoking experience? Essentially, inc- yeah, increasing efficiency and decreasing dollar per inch. We should do what would have what happens when you smoke a frozen cigar. We sh- That's not a. Bad I guess idea. it melts. What? So you would have to like basically toast the foot, essentially melt the foot. So you could probably light the foot, but it would probably go out. Maybe. We'll is the sound recording on the P4 there? Yes, Jerry. I'm right, just making sure. Woo! 
Yeah, I want okay. everyone tag the backyard scientist down below, guys. I want to set up for that collab. Maybe it can help you and Mark uh, design a shed under ten thousand dollars. I'm sure it's possible. If anyone is giving away or selling at a discount a wooden shed that's ten, twelve by sixteen, twelve by twenty, it's got to at least be twelve feet wide. Uh, let us know. Put put in the comments below. <laughs> put in the comments below. <laughs> mm-hmm. Message us. Email us. Info at the cigarguys.com. But yeah. What else do the people want to know? Should I inhale cigars? Uh, if you're a psychopath, maybe. I think this one's of a great debate, but I'm going to go with no. It's really not. I, I don't Just inhale my cigars. Just because you debate something doesn't mean you're right. Bro, I found a 12 by 20 shed for $3,000. How's it look? Like a shed. Let me see. That's Legos. Yeah, that looks that, that looks bad though. What do you want it to look like? A log cabin? I'll show you exactly right now which shed <laughs> I want. Oh, this is sick. Was uh, that twelve yeah, by it, sixteen inches? It has or ba- twelve by it sixteen has, feet. It has bad reviews. It's like three point eight. I, I, that doesn't add. That's five percent off. <clears throat> no. I want it to look like a northern estate. Like the suburbs of New York. <coughs> I really want the shed to be a big Albanian eagle. Facts. And you walk through the beak and no one knows it's a hidden entrance. That would be crazy. $20,000. See, now this shed got five star reviews. Look at that. I just saw that one on his thing. Is that a Home Depot? And, I do and like the that. height. So it matches that, your house. Yeah, that one is like. Only six foot four Ooh. tall on the walls. Yeah, Zach would be hitting his head on the ceiling. Yeah. He'd actually be bending down. He's so tall. He would probably be like in a 90 degree angle. Like this is this is eight feet tall. Look at this red one, bro. Whoa. Oh, I like that. Cigar guy's red. So yeah. yeah, if it was six, if it was eight foot even, Zach's head would like almost touch the ceiling. You think they got 0% financing? <laughs> Can we order it from Kosovo? If Apple sells it. <laughs> All right. So to answer that question, should I inhale cigar smoke? Uh, no, you'll get sick. It's not recommended. You can enjoy a cigar to its optimum efficiency by so, yeah. not inhaling. Some people do it, but. Well, some people, you know, inhale hookah. And I mean, a lot of people inhale, you inhale hookah. Cigarettes. Weed. Mean you yeah, should. but that's all stuff that. It's supposed to it's be inhaled. designed to be inhaled. Hmm. I think nothing's designed to be inhaled. Yeah, I don't except in- air. Inhale, yeah, a- mm-hmm. oxygen. I don't inhale anything. You're in- inhaling nitrogen right now. Nitrogen makes up most of our atmosphere. I'll allow it. He's got the pass. Next question: How do I properly taste and appreciate a cigar? Read so, that answer slowly. We actually have a whole video on this and the way a cigar is supposed to be correctly balanced. Um, when you're smoking a cigar, there's different flavor notes that you'll get. Uh, some on the back of the throat, some on the, you know, your tongue, the t- <laughs> like the top and bottom of your mouth, some side to side, basically, uh, like saliva, you know, from your cheeks. Um, Slide to the left. So I would, I would really say just smoke it slow and try to piece together the flavors that you're getting. Um, and then I always recommend to smoke it first. Like if, you know, if you know it's a good cigar, right? Like you're smoking the base of cigar, um, smoke it mm. and then compare your thoughts to what it says, like on the box, right? You know, oh, I do taste cocoa. Oh, I do taste hazelnut. I do taste a cedar, you know. That, that's kind of the way I do it. Just kind of like test yourself and you can kind of figure out what flavors uh, mean what. Um, I think that's a great idea, but I also tend to like to smoke a cigar and then compare the box and see if the box is right. Oh, so you 
go based off your palate and yeah, then like you determine to, if the box is right or wrong. Yeah, thank you, Alex. I I <laughs> like to <laughs> I like to uh, you know test the complexity and the intensity of the flavor to match the box because if the box is right, I'm, I'm I know they're not lying to me. Okay, so you. Ha- well, then respect the blender more if yeah. he's right. If he's wrong, you might not trust him. He or she. But yeah. He or she. She's my language, but only he or she. That, that's very good. It also helps when uh, there's a lot of detail, a picture, a description, the EST and the year. Uh, they're, you know, you know, usually the blender's you know, phone number is nice too. It's rare. But sometimes you find them on the box. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Zach's like, I've never found a phone number on there. <laughs> this is how Jerry gets so many contacts. He looks under the box and sometimes yeah. there's a phone number there. Inspected by <laughs> then his phone number. <laughs> we just started doing that. Put like little stickies and say inspected by, have like some kind of like mini letterhead on a sticky note and put that on a bunch of random boxes. Some people buy them. We did design that actually. Interesting. We just didn't feel like paying for it. But they are inspected by us. Every single box. Every single we actually box. will not allow our boxes to be pre-packaged. We package them ourselves. This is true. Well, I'm saying we should do it to random boxes at random cigar lounges. Oh, that I would pay for. When someone calls, you'd be like, hey, this is base of headquarters. Thanks for calling. You reached our quality HQ. Oh, Press- I'm, I'm smoking a Padron. Oh, yeah, they're no longer in business. Uh, we've expanded to base of cigars only. I'm going to get my uh, senior sales lead on this and technician. Mark? What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark would be like, are you smoking a cigar or what? Y- yeah. Congratulations. Are, okay, why are you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> is it smoking good? Yeah. I but- what is, is this a waste of time? It's like this man, <laughs> this doesn't sound like a complaint. And it's like in the phone call. I'm a busy guy, and you're calling me to what? To bullshit? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you. Hangs up. Press one. Goes back on TikTok. Alex <laughs> Gonzalez. Press two for Jared Burrows. Press three for Zach. <laughs> Mark's a bigger little brother. <laughs> <laughs> it like transfers the call. <laughs> <laughs> why are you calling me? I'm at work. I still love that when Jared pointed out. He's like, "Why is Zach? Why is Zach the only one that got like a extra phrase?" <laughs> I was like, "Mark's little big brother." <laughs> but yeah, is this Padron headquarters? And he's like, "No, this is base of cigars." And then we just go through the whole thing. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do. Uh, do you get that reference? Did the Costco guys? No, I'm asking Alex. Uh, what, he, what reference? The reference that he just made. <laughs> it's all show he doesn't watch together. No, he never watched it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's true. That's true. He did say that. What show? SpongeBob. <laughs> no. I, in fact, did watch SpongeBob in my later years. He he just finished. Oh, it's the, that was just Patrick. I got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whew. Sorry, it took me a while. He had to pull out his like meme bank so that he remembered. <laughs> I saw it on TikTok once. <laughs> <clears throat> I think Mark. Make sure you comment down below if your parents tell you watch SpongeBob or not. <laughs> Mine didn't. That's why I don't have brain rot as bad as these guys do. I think they're bringing to, I think, HBO. Hold on. I can't focus when you speak. Let me play a video. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak while I watch a video of someone playing Subway Surfer? Bro. On right. Minecraft? We should do a cigar event, like when we present the base of cigar. And just put a TV screen up behind us with like Subway Surfer. Facts. Uh, we'll just put it on our foreheads, like that game, you know, that you yeah. play. Yeah. You know, like, hmm. What's it called? Flip a doo or something? <laughs> Flip a doo? Isn't it just charades? <laughs> oh, is it charades? I don't know. I would literally only play that game at like parks, like, like in line for Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next question. Are cigars safer than cigarettes? Zach? Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are. I mean, you're not inhaling them. There's unequivocally 
profound evidence that shows they're way safer. Yeah, not, that's not, what, not to say that they are safe. I mean, you know, there's risk in everything you well, do. Well, listen, is eating chocolate cake every day safe? Is driving a car safe? No. I'm not, I'm not saying like statistically, no, like the worst thing you could do, you know, you know, more people die from vending machines than they, than shark attacks in the world from like a vending machine falling just in general <laughs> pulls out a gun and just shoots them <laughs> and vending machine violence. <laughs> We should ban vending machines. That's my machines. stand. That's my stand right now. No, but uh, most most states actually uh, separate like premium fine tobacco, like pipe tobacco <clears throat> or uh, cigars. All the good states do. Yeah. Uh, they separate that stuff. We're looking at you, Ron DeSantis. If I can get off of your ass. Uh, yeah, he's got, what, like two more years? And he smokes cigars, so he should be. I know. Yeah. I, I think we just got to bring it to his attention. Like yeah. same thing with like that wine thing where they're like, we're, we were only allowed like a 750 or a liter bottle of wine. And then he like, someone brought it to his attention. He's like, why? That's stupid. Like, why can't we just have a bigger bottle of wine? <laughs> you know, then they pulled out the like, you know, five liter bottles and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, cigars have no like added stuff. It's all just straight tobacco. Um, you're not inhaling it. You're just keeping it in your mouth. Um, versus like cigarettes, you know, it's going in your lungs. It's got how many chemicals. millions of different chemicals, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, I mean, I think yeah. the easiest way is that like you have a machine made product with chemicals versus a hand rolled product. Most, most time hand rolled. Yeah. Yeah. If not flavor cigar, that's chemicals though. <clears throat> and like, and well, premium <clears throat> cigars are all hand rolled. Correct. Premium cigars are all hand rolled. And cigars also don't need a, a surgeon warning label on it, you know? So, like... <laughs> in some countries, they do. In some countries, they do. Yeah. Not in the free state of America. Yep. Free country of America. Thank Made you, up of USA. States. You are my best friend. Yeah, that's a... It's all being bop right there. In English. You are the legend. All right, what's our next? What we got? We got, we got. How are cigars age and why does it even matter? Why? I mean, I got aged cigars in my humidor. How old is your cigar? In my humidor? Um, this one? Any of them? I've had, I've had five year old cigars, 10 year old cigars, 30 year old cigars. Hmm. 50 year old cigars. Hmm. Have you? A hundred year old cigars. You have? I have not. But I have had like twenty year old cigars. Um, but cigars can be aged if they're kept at the correct humidity, the correct temperature, um, and it actually it changes the flavor when you age a cigar, kind of like when you age a wine. But same thing with wines. There's an age limit. Uh, you could get to a point where aging it isn't doing much for it, um, and it kind of just caps out. It, uh, pulls too much. You lose flavor when you age. So, um, if you let it go too far, then it'll, you know, you kind of just lost most of the flavor and you're, it's not going to be, it could be, but most of the time it's not going to be as enjoyable as like that sweet spot, you know, cause like we have, we've had cigars where we've aged personally for like five years and, um, every year you could taste a difference. Yeah. Uh, you know, it gets better, 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 better. And then, you know, that fifth year, you're like, okay, this is where, you know, it, it kind of got worse than what it was last year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that cigar, a good age limit on it would be like four years. Yeah. And actually to add to that point about probably two, maybe three years ago, we had a uh, Opus X Lancero 2018 that I think we, we both smoked it and we said it was all right. I think it was a 2017, but. I think it was 2018. Okay. Let's say it was, hypothetically. And then I recently smoked it again yesterday, and I loved it. So, yeah, buy a box and then smoke one every six months and see how it changes. I mean, that'll last you at least 10 years if you buy a box 20. Yeah. Smoke two a year, you know. Which brings up another good question. Collecting cigars. What do you decide to <coughs> hold on and keep for a long time? What do you decide to smoke right away? Mm. <clears throat> don't, don't ask me. 
Yeah, don't ask me. I smoke them all. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that um, it's better to age stronger and more full body cigars for a longer period of time than more mild cigars because aging kind of like Zach said it takes away the flavor it also takes away some of the strength over time so if you have a really like Padrones age beautifully you can have a Padron that's aged 20 years and it'll still have great flavor it won't be as strong too so it'll be even smoother than it already is so I like to smoke stronger Maduro's or I like to age them for a long period of time. And most of the mild cigars, I won't really age them. I'll just, you know, smoke those uh, more quickly. Yeah, this, this is why I think uh, naturally, like my favorite cigar is the Patron 1926, because that thing's been aging for like a hundred, what, two years, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to check your facts sure. on that, Jared. <laughs> Wouldn't that be 98 years? 126. We're in 24. Yeah, it is 98. Almost there. Yeah, he's like I hate that cigar now. I, I'll keep it in my humidor for two more years. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I, it's fun to mess around with them too and see like what cigars age better for you know however period of time. But I mean, yeah, full body cigars for sure. Keep them in longer. Um, yeah, that's what I gotta say about that. That's what I personally would do. What is the significance of the different cigar shapes and sizes? Mm. Personally, I think there's no significance. It's how you smoke it um, mm. that matters. <laughs> but <laughs> okay. what, what do you think? Me personally. Actually, Mark, you want to tackle this one? I just think the smaller ones are sometimes better, you know what I mean, than the bigger ones. You she know? never said that. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> like She did say that, but she didn't mean it. Like They, they just have more flavor. Like the thinner they are, um, and the shorter they are, like sometimes you don't, you don't, what do, what do, you don't need something that lasts an hour long. That's insane. That's way too long, you know? Yeah, like you get bored, you know? So if you get like a, you, you get tired. If you get like a United Cigars pencil that'll last maybe like 15 minutes, like I think that's like perfect. Even that sometimes, like, it's too long. Like sometimes you just need a little cigarillo, you know? Yeah. No, but seriously, um, good, uh, good 30 second smoke, you know? <laughs> it's like, that's average. Actually, the size of the cigar changes a lot. Like me personally, I like Lanceros because it's more wrapper to binder ratio. And you get most of the flavor from the wrapper anyways. Yeah. So thinner ring gauges usually give you more flavor from the wrapper. Um, and Lanceros are good because they're still long cigars. So they'll last you an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, but, but they're thinner. Like, how big is the ring gauge to the point where it doesn't really matter anymore? Like it just the flavor gets weaker and weaker. You well, know. I mean, so like when you get to like a hundred ring gauge, you're tasting a lot of the filler. So you're not tasting as much wrapper in my experience. And kind of like a movie or a TV show, you know, when there's too much filler in it, you're not getting, mm. you're not getting any like the substance. Yeah, yeah. exactly. There's not enough action. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you're just kind of like sitting there like in a history lesson or yeah. something. Yeah. Kind of like you threw too many fries in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I think anything above a 60 ring gauge is just a little too much. I agree with that personally. Yeah. Per 60 is like max. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, imagine getting, you know, a sprinter van and then you only got one kid. You know what I mean? What's the point? <laughs> like, it depends. Like, how big is a sprinter van? Uh, full on, like, cargo, you know, just. How big is the kid? Only has, <laughs> uh, it, it has like, case it has like 12 <laughs> seats in it. No, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like, what's the point? Yeah, what's the point? You know. What's the point? That's why I drive a Porsche. I drive a, uh, <laughs> I drive a single-seater uh, sports car. I don't want to give the name out. It's too, too, uh, what is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> if you don't know, you're broke. I drive a single-seat sports car also. Yeah, but there's only one in the Eastern Hemisphere. Is there? <laughs> we'll say ours at the same time. Three, two, one. Dodge Demon. <laughs> I mean, I guess that is true. But you could get a second seat installed. Mine, you can't even get a second seat. Mm. There's not enough room. Can you technically fit in like a motorcycle parking spot? No, no, no. no. 
I, I no. personally drive a one seater crotch rocket for. No. Is it? You ever heard of a? Uh, you ever heard of a? You ever heard of a? Uh, it's a small little like a race thing, like a Formula One. <laughs> you ever heard of that? <laughs> you have a Formula One car. You mean you mean F one? Yeah, uh, it's a formula, but it's okay. There's a formula to it, but it's uh, it's F one. Yeah, so you, you know those cars. Uh, so you do know it. You're familiar with yeah. it. Yeah, most people aren't. Um. Yeah, I drive. I drive uh, uh, one of those. One's a Ferrari. One's a uh, one's a Mercedes. Uh, one is says Red Bull on it. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> the best one. <laughs> Red Bull makes cars. They go hard for it. They actually line. pay me to drive it. Hmm. Is it Red Bull usually the, the, like champion? Uh, it's like Ferrari and the Red Bull. It's Ferrari, Red Bull, and Mercedes. But yeah, it, it depends on the driver. I think the Red Bull guy, uh, what's his name? I literally just has a conversation about this. But yeah, I think he just won first place. They go they go pretty intense. There was um, a Mercedes or something that was being airlifted, and someone took a picture of the bottom. Yeah. And it was like a huge scandal because like the aerodynamics of the bottom of the car is super important. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why when uh, they did the Formula One race in Vegas... They forgot to weld a uh, water cover like into the ground. And when one of the cars went over it, it actually sucked it up and out. And then another car hit it and they had to shut down the track. This was during practice, though. Like it, when they were doing the test laps. Which people were giving shit to Vegas about that Formula One race. But I thought I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was a good time for them to update the roads anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would love to go to like a Formula One race, though, that's like happening in like Greece or like Italy, just mm. in like those city roads. That would be badass. I think they should do one in the mountains and like West Virginia or something. West Virginia. Or like doing it in the Rocky Mountains. That'd be sick. Blue Ridge Mountains. <laughs> That'd be nice. Hmm. Yeah, if I was Elon Musk, to be honest with you, I'd go to like all those races. Well, he was there at the one with Tony Stark when he came out as Iron Man, like on the track. Cars? No. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Man 2? He was there. He was, was there. Iron Man 2. It yeah. was Iron Man 2, yeah. That was a good movie. Rest in peace, Tony Stark. I He's think back. I, I, think I own that movie. He is kind of back. He's back, Doctor Doom. Thanks. I didn't want to get to watch the movie yet. It's not out. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. You guys know it's raining today? Oh, thanks. I haven't been outside yet, guys. Come on. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Actually, true. Spoiler alert. They killed Jesus. <laughs> Don't worry. He comes back. In France? What? That was a Last Supper joke when they mocked the Last oh, Supper. Oh. <laughs> and then they admitted to it. I don't want to hear any any comments about that. They admitted that it was... Did yeah. they admit it? I thought they said it yes, was like they uh, admitted it. No, that's oh, yeah, they also yeah. took it down from their YouTube. Yeah, they also took down their whole opening ceremony. Yeah, that shit was cr- stupid. That's why mad yeah. cringe, bro. Then they had a blackout their opening ceremony, like at the end of the day. The whole, they, it, what? did you see? Like so the whole city got a blackout. The whole city like, had a blackout. Oh yeah, that was the only part of Europe that had a storm, except for the church. Did you see that? There was a church that didn't lose power. <laughs> oh, oh wait, wrong thing. Sorry. Uh, Crazy. So, what other questions do you have on uh, ChatGPT? There, yeah, all these questions are from the viewers. At least the ones in the paper are. <laughs> Not that cigar collectible thing. That was personally. Um, I don't know if you. I mean, I get this a lot. I don't. know. You guys wouldn't get this, but I get a lot. Like stopped. Um, we have a lot of viewers in like the Winter Park area. And they stop me all the time and they're just like, how does it feel that like you're carrying the cigar guys? You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm like, stop. It's not like that. And he's like, no, like without you, there wouldn't be a show. You know, yeah, it's really could, embarrassing. Could, it's, it's, it's very embarrassing when they confuse Zach and I. And then I have to tell them, I have to tell them, be like, you know, I don't want to say you're wrong, but last week I was sick and they didn't have a show, you know, and yeah, they usually come up to you and say, you know, Mark, you're so funny. <laughs> What's actually funny, though, is we get guests come on and they're like, is Mark coming? <laughs> really? <laughs> Swear to God. One of our last guests that came, actually, our last guest that came to the studio, was, I was like, oh, someone's not going to be joining us. He's like, is Mark coming? I'm like, no. 
I'm the goat. He's rather upset. How you feel, Mark? Pretty, pretty good. Pretty confident. He like Mark. I think like, I'm on top of the game. He's like goofy, laid back, like funny. Yeah, but people actually have recognized you in real life. We've seen this a few times. Yeah, we have. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. He's the most recognizable cigar guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Like someone will come up and be like, "Oh, you're from the Cigar Guys," and I'll be sitting there, <laughs> like, and they won't even acknowledge me. I'm like, "Thanks, bro." <laughs> That's how I, I felt. It makes really. sense because I feel like me and Alex are more on the TikToks. And a lot of times it's Alex filming me like doing something stupid. So, and a lot of times the stupid ones go viral. So it kind of makes sense. Long story short, it, Mark is, is it you doing something stupid or is he catching you in the moment? Are you doing something th- you think is normal? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Mark is stupid. <laughs> hey, yo. That, you said like it, not me. All right, I I'll, was I was saying you were like goofy and funny. No, you asking. said you were stupid. I'm asking because that one time he caught you. Trying Whatever, to guys. If you guys don't want me here, then don't have me. All right. <laughs> like the one time he caught you like <laughs> grabbing an acid cigar. Mm. I have reposted that. Well, I guess only once. I can only repost it once. <laughs> <laughs> that one always goes viral. <laughs> yeah, because it goes against our whole like mantra. Uh, yeah, everything. It goes against everything we believe in. <laughs> what Alex started doing is keep changing the <laughs> on this day to <laughs> almost every single day. Well, the problem is I posted it. it three times a year, so it comes back three times a year. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like imagine I'm like pushing like Catholicism on you, <laughs> and then I just show up in a yarmulke one day. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how it was. Zach is really offended by that. <laughs> Some people get offended, man. It's like, dude, it's a joke. Relax. Someone got mad because you threw I'm a just, cigar. I'm just glad I recorded that. I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Oh, the acid cigar, I thought. Yeah, but we're talking about a different one. What are you talking about? Oh, he's talking about that AI video you guys had. No, of, like I'm, me I'm, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's not AI. <laughs> no, not that one. I like the the most one recent one that he has. Oh, where where I throw the cigar back? Not that one. You, we all thought it was AI. No, it, no, that it, one was not AI. That was a skit. The one where I'm like, the one where I'm like, Mark, what are you smoking? He's like an acid and he looks like he's like 12. That one? No, I meant the one where he com- he's coming out. I, I- uh, <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It was like lagging, so it looked like a picture. <laughs> but, like, so it was just stuck on one It has frame. one FPS. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, there's a lot of AIs going around, guys. Be careful. Um, you never know when someone's going to make an AI if you're smoking an acid. No, I ran it through the deep fake checker that I created and it said it was real. Mm. That I created. <laughs> Sounds, <laughs> Sounds a little biased. Him. Sounds a little biased, but we'll, mo- we'll move on. We'll move on. People get so mad about this. I digress. I digress. Like, like I don't know. I feel like most of our fans know it's a joke. Yeah, and then like that's we, why the videos get so many likes. Yeah, and then we'll get like some people that like get mad. Like, oh, you guys are stuck up. So uh, we got called yuppies. What people don't realize is every almost everyone in the industry agrees with this I will, I, I will say if a guy called us a yuppie and he smokes acid cigars i don't know what small town he's from but they need to kick him out of it fact that's on the record no he, he called us a yuppie for throwing the cigar back in the box oh still but we paid for it it's probably because he smokes them yeah we're also from the south so i don't know how we'd be yuppies you should reply that video of you like picking up that cigar and putting it back gently <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> just, to, just to fuck with them put it on like a velvet pillow like <laughs> tuck it in <laughs> kiss it goodnight it has like a spotlight well, on it that's what we'll do we'll we'll make the video and then we'll cut it like b- right before I throw it and when I throw it we'll cut it and it'll, it'll just like, like land in the bed like <laughs> 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 the sleeve will slowly come off <laughs> That'd be funny. Then we get a pick. <laughs> we get a cigar pick and slowly. <laughs> uh, we we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get a padron coming like a dad and be like, "Are you infusing again?" <laughs> uh, infusing is basically like heroin. Don't do it. Does, doesn't that add some kind of chemical to the cigar? I really don't know how infusing a cigar works. I thought you had uh, some whiskey infused ones. Yeah, but it was naturally infused with fruits from God. Hmm. But how does infuse? Like, how does 
like mm. acid infused cigars work? Do they, does it go through like a chemical process? I think the the leaves are coated with some sort of flavoring. Mm. Like blueberry? Or whatever the heck it is. Red 40? Cornstarch? Both good flavors, actually. <laughs> uh, is there anything else on there? No, that's it. That's, that's it. Much it. Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, there's another question. It says, um, What do you think about that? <laughs> I think that's a question. I think a question was directed to you. Um, Since you're like the guy. If you look at the significance of time and the significance of it, and of course, yesterday is today's yesterday. <laughs> and then we got tomorrow is today's tomorrow. And then the significance of the passage of time. And then I've never been to the board. I've been to the board. I haven't been to the, I haven't been to Paris either. Besides the border, but we've been there. We've been there, but not me personally. But who's we? And I've done a lot. Are I've you done- speaking for like anyone in the United States right now? And then I've done a lot in the past like four years, just like so much stuff. This is actually pretty good. Um, I feel like she's with us and right then now. If you get the significance of time of everything I've done, of today's yesterday, tomorrow, and what I will do in tomorrow, which is Today's tomorrow. What can be unburdened by what has been. Exactly. Amen. Thank you for listening to my speech. That was perfect, but I didn't understand the Paris border that you've been to or we've been to. We've been to the border. We've been to. I, I, not me, I mean, I, I say. You, have, you haven't been to the border. <laughs> I said so. I mean, I would, I would tell you that I've been there, but you guys would fact check me. So, like, I haven't been there. But, anyways, Megan the Stallion, everyone. I've been to a fence and acted like it was a border. <laughs> I went to the restaurant. Yeah. And I cried in front of that fence because I was imagining her kids being locked up behind that fence. I think that was AOC. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Same person. I, what, what's a, what's that suit? place in like North Carolina? Just over the border or something? <laughs> no, uh, on the border. Oh, on the border. I have been on the border. I've been to on the border. <laughs> People are like Great fact checking. Then they then they pull up like an old photo of her there. They're like, "Is this what you meant?" <laughs> She's like, "I don't understand the problem with being on the border. Like, it's a nice little town. They have good chips, good salsa. I buy their chips and salsa in Publix. <laughs> <laughs> They're working so hard. And I just think I've done a great job there. Really, <laughs> they pay taxes on the border. I just saw um, Joe Rogan talk about this. It's pretty funny. He was like. It's crazy how she went from being like the most disliked vice president to like their savior. Exactly. Within like a day. Yeah. Literally. And they raised, shout out to the white dudes that support Kamala Harris. They raised $4 million for her campaign. Absolutely insane achievement. Never before in history have white dudes come together to raise $4 million for uh, a black woman who's also Uh, Indian. uh, Didn't Dan Newland write... A million dollar check to Donald Trump. <laughs> like, so yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, no, no, not true. And I, actually, I think that was for that family of. Uh, uh, yes, it was the family of the firefighter. Yeah, that died. So in total, I think as of that night, it was like six point some million dollars. Yo, shout out Dan Newland, yo. If you watch this, he's crazy, bro, dude. Come I'm on, like, he's crazy. He's he's coming after. He's coming after uh, John Morgan in Florida. Good. Yeah, he put up he put up a uh, two Trump billboards. That face his building in downtown. So <laughs> I saw those actually. Yeah. I, was I was like, damn, he's got, so he was paying for these billboards. I know. That makes sense. At, <laughs> at the bottom, if you read, uh, like it says, like, oh, paid for by Dan Newland. And I'm like, oh my God, that's sick. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely like the alter ego of John Morgan. I feel like John Morgan tried to buy him out once and he's just like, he's like uh, fuck you. Uh huh. <laughs> I think John Morgan did buy him out. (laughs) That's what I thought, but I don't think he did. I don't know. It's up in the air. Yeah, because everyone else though, I've heard that too, but I don't. I don't really know anymore. Yeah, especially because all of his commercials. Money is money, bro. So who cares? Like I'm John Morgan. Who cares what Dan Newland's political beliefs are? I'm still making money. Yeah, but he's putting them in with his law firm. Like his commercials are like heavily. 
right leaning. Yeah. Money's money, bro. I guess. Listen, I represent the Democrats of America. This guy also works for me, represents the conservatives of America. I don't see a problem with that. Double money. Money's money. Double money. Double dipping. Money's green. It's all that matters. I mean, the same thing with Donald Trump picking J.D. Vance. Oh, yeah. They did get... They became a member of Morgan Law. Look at that. Money, money, green, green. I guess it's kind I of... Bet a- you, I bet you they wrote in his... Because con- they kept him as a, a figure, you yeah. know, a figurehead. And I bet you they wrote in his contract that he would be in charge of anything marketing related. Well, yeah, because at the like, end of the okay. day, it's like, oh, I'm not going to go to Morgan and Morgan. I'm going to go to Dan Newland. Yeah. He's just getting the money, at the, some of the money at the end of the day. How, yeah. how recent was the acquisition? Oh, it was uh, just, I wow. within, yeah, five years, probably more than five yeah, years. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, like with most acquisitions, especially with like startups, you retain the top employees because most employees are want to work there because of you. And so if you just leave, they'll all start to leave. In 2003. Damn. Oh, dang. Wow. Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. That's crazy. I thought it was recent. Yeah, so that was like 25 right. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> We're time travelers. But I, don't, I don't know if he owns it. I think it's just uh, members of it. So he works with them. Yeah, it could be like a joint law firm, I guess. But I guess it makes sense for Morgan Morgan anyways, because you get both audiences. That's crazy. I would have never thought of that. Yeah, I don't know why you didn't say something sooner. I know I should have. This is why Mark's the smartest one on the table. Well, I agree. All right. I think that's, that's about it. Please feel free to ask us any more questions that we didn't cover. So we do this next year. We'll have something for you. On this day next year. On today's probable. date. There, there's really nothing in there. You have like 20 questions in there. Yeah, most of it were on here. Hmm. Crazy. Interesting. Hmm. All right. I think that's all we got. Alex, time for the outro. Oh, we have an outro now? No, we've been had one. Shit. I gotta watch more. <laughs> I'm just playing around, guys. Relax. Jeez. Everybody <laughs> takes everything so serious. Are you giving up early? Thank you guys for tuning <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below. Uh, I think we should build a shed though. How much is that going to cost? About 15,000. God. I feel like the number keeps going up. Where did we get that number from? Uh, a concrete slab is about three grand. To get a nice shed, it's about seventy five hundred. Uh, yeah, we we'll build to, a shed, bro. To run electric, it's about a thousand. We'll build a shed. Can't he already created a concrete slab for his place? Can we'll he just do shed, it for your place? We'll run it off solar. How much is the materials going to cost? The materials. Not for so I can build a shed. The only problem. The only thing I'm scared of guys, is the roof. That's, I'm not scared of the roof. Guys, it's 20, I've seen so many videos on how to do it. It's $20 a spool. Especially like that where you, it's not like, it, it's not hard. Yeah, but you got to make it match the house so it doesn't look bad. Do we have extra? What? Of those? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it shouldn't be too hard. So I'm, I'm going to officially own 25% of a property on Nikolai Court. No. In the concrete, I think I am. If we do it ourselves, it wouldn't be that bad. So, is this hollow right now? It would be just as expensive. Is this hollow? That is not true. Uh, it has like supports in it. Hmm. I can make it solid, but keep past me a cigar. A full See, load. That's, that's of- our version. I just throw <laughs> throw the fries in the bag. <laughs> just pass me a cigar. Just pass me a cigar, bro. A full load of concrete is like fifteen hundred, and that that's way more than you need for for how big? For how slab. big of a spot? How much you pay for yours? You did this. 
What? You, you did a concrete slab in the back of your place, right? Oh, yeah, but that was like 80 bucks. And I was like tiny. Okay, so that was 80 bucks for how many square yeah, feet? Yeah, how many square feet? Yeah, but that was, qu- that was, was quick rate. It's more expensive. Well, I know, but let's just say, let's just use that. That's four by three. Yeah. So that's 12 square feet. This yeah. would be 12 by 16. How many maybe square feet? 12 by 20. That's 200 square feet. Uh, yeah, there's plenty. I think a 1500, a full loaded is like, you give it like 2,000 square feet. Let's just say it's 20 bucks a bag. That's already 3,800 bucks. Yeah, but if you do a concrete truck, it's $1,500. I get it, but it has to be poured. Yeah, they pour it for you. I know. And then they have to do the top. They have to do the finishing. That's not hard. I think you're just scared. R- regardless of what happens, let's make, sure we, let's make sure we vlog this, please. We should do it and make a TikTok series. Wait, hold on. Why are you in the frame now? I don't know. I think it's because we flipped the camera. Yeah, well, no shit, but. Oh, yeah, there we go. We should do it to make a YouTube series. We should what? We should do it to make a YouTube series. How to build a shed? Just start a complete, no. Start how a- to build a cigar. No, we'll have one series that's how to build a cigar lounge, like a cigar lounge at home. And then we'll post the same thing, but it'll be called How to Build a Shit. On a different channel. Yeah. That'll probably get more views. <laughs> <laughs> and monetized. Yeah. All right. Flip a coin and play rock, paper, scissors for who's going to do the intro. And an AC. How much is an AC? I don't, I don't know. It's about like 1500 bucks. Okay. That's, that's uninstalled. And that's for a split year. It, it'd probably be about like, for all the wood and stuff, probably like over five grand. About five grand. We're building out of wood. So we're about we're about the same number. No, we're not even close. You're at like ten. I'm at fifteen. No, how am I at ten? Can we make it look like a five cabin? grand for wood? Okay, let's just say two thousand for concrete. I was gonna say fifteen hundred, but okay, okay, fifteen hundred. Okay, so, so sixty five hundred. Okay, right, fifteen hundred for an AC. Okay, right, run electrical. That's another thousand. Okay. But how much? I, I thought you meant just fifteen thousand for just the shed, and the concrete completed. How much is it for the shed? It's seventy four hundred. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> the shed and and it's pre built. No, it's still do it yourself. Oh, okay. So what are we at now? Furniture, drywall, paint. That stuff's cheap. How would you know? You didn't pay for it. Flooring. We get flooring pretty cheap also. Yeah, but what's cheap? A lot of cheap stuff adds up to a lot of money. I mean... This I whole mean, set caught over a grand. This? The, yeah. The, everything that you see... Everything oh, that we this. use... Yeah. Like you got the, like the electronics. And the the seats, the wall, the... What else did we do? 